The Mystic Hero event is now live in Pokemon Go, and there's really not much to it, but we do got ourselves a special research here, a Mystic Hero. We've got to catch 15 Pokemon, use 10 Pine Berries while catching Pokemon, and then we have to make 10 great throws. All of that's pretty easy. I don't expect this to take too long to finish, but I do want to point something out that I noticed earlier. First off, I had to update the game so I was even able to see this, but if we click on this, well, you can see that we have Blanche here, which is kind of fun. But watch this. We're going to click on it. Yeah, and there we go. Basically, they go T-pose instead of going into their normal animations, though that animation going through and I think the next animation goes through but if we go back to it it's <laughs> just gonna t-pose yet again so there's a bit of an issue with this event not to mention that they forgot to add the Blanche Lapras earlier for the APAC region so when those players were claiming the Lapras they couldn't claim anything because the Lapras wasn't in the game yet so that's a little bit unfortunate hopefully when they do the Valor Heroes and the Instinct Heroes event it'll be a little bit better I don't know what's going on right now but there's been a few issues but anyways let's just quickly complete all these tasks and see what happens and just a few minutes later we complete at page one of four so let's get the ten Pokeballs the thousand Stardust and the seven Pineapple berries and it looks like we're gonna get ourselves an encounter after the 1500 xp but i wonder what it's gonna be it's gonna be an ev all right cool 455 is not bad either i believe it's 459 that's the hundo so we actually have a decent one here which is kind of fun but let's take a look at these things ivs it is a 96 okay that's actually really good usually when i do these special researches i don't usually get really good stuff and now we're back with blanche i mean at least blanche can wave a little bit but the moment you click on them yet again we're t-posing so that's fantastic now we have to evolve five pokemon we gotta use 15 berries to help catch a Pokemon and then catch 25 Pokemon. Shouldn't take too long to complete this step either, and plus we also have ourselves a Clifford here, so I'm gonna battle him real quick and hopefully we'll get a Shiny Shadow Larvitar. Clifford's down. Come on, Shiny Shadow. Nope, unfortunately not. 214. I've done quite a few of these cliffs since the last Shiny you've seen, and I have yet to get really lucky. I'm really hoping that we end up getting another one real soon. And now page 2 of 4 is done. Let us claim these rewards. 50 Eevee candies. That's kind of cool, I guess. 15 Pokeballs and an encounter with something. It's going to be a shell nets that's kind of cool and kind of fits the theme to see the thing about blanche is that they really do focus on evolutions and the study of evolution and shell and carablast are pokemon that are really like known for having an interesting evolution because you have to trade one with the other in order for it to happen so one could assume that that's probably what the final reward is going to be is a carablast but first 2000 xp which is great and then the encounter is going to be with a carablast how did i know you can't do one without the other most cases though there has been a few events here and there where they've done something like that and now we're back to blanche and they're gonna probably T-pose again, right? But they did do a little bit of a talking animation for a little bit there, and back to the T-pose. All right, gotta love it. Now we've gotta make three excellent throws, earn five candies while walking with your buddy, and evolve 10 Pokemon. That's all gonna be pretty simple for the most part, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch out my Shundo here that I'm working on for best buddies, because this is gonna take far too long. I'm gonna just do Ramen the Magikarp. And there he is, the good old Ramen the Magikarp. We're gonna feed him a Poffin, which makes it like 0.5 kilometers for me to get a distance candy with him. And he's already at point five out of one so the moment i give him a puff and we already got one candy and while i work on page three or four there's also a timed portion to this i've already caught the pokemon i still need to transfer the pokemon and i think the bottom one was supposed to be like evolve a single pokemon or something like that so let's quickly transfer some pokemon to claim these rewards cure bless and shelmet weren't good anyway so might as well just get rid of them and there we go and now we can claim the five pokeballs the nanab berries and of course the thousand stardust and the final rewards are going to be 500 stardust two rare candies and of course we got a thousand xp and for page two or three we got to catch 10 pokemon transfer five of them and then evolve three Pokemon. All of that's very simple, so let's walk around, get those distance candies, and we'll slowly finish this up. And page two of this little timed research is done. Five Pokeballs, five Raspberries, and 3,000 Stardust. That's actually kind of nice. And final rewards. Looks like we're going to be getting ourselves a 1,000 more Stardust. We're going to get two rare candies, which is fantastic, and of course some XP, 2,000 of it. And now for page three of three, we have to evolve a Pokemon, and then we have to evolve another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. Man, that's just going to take forever. In fact, it took so long that it took almost over a minute to complete so glad we finally got that done with we're gonna get ourselves 10 pineapps we're gonna get 15 pokies 15 greats and 10 ultras and of course three silvers and the final rewards are going to include 2000 stardust we're gonna get a whole magnetic lore that's interesting and 3000 xp and just like that we're done with that but we still have to get ourselves some more buddy candies and excellent throws and evolving so what i'm thinking is we're gonna back out of this real quick and we're gonna pop the daily incense and maybe we'll get lucky with a galarian bird just because i have to do the walking anyway might as well do it with a potential of something exciting. But let's see what the first spawn's gonna be. First one is a Galarian Wismer. Ooh, fancy. 
All right, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The bad news is it's about to rain out here and I just got a brand new camera. I hope you can tell, I really love this thing. This thing's amazing. But I don't really wanna get it drenched in rain right now. So I found a parking garage, but the good news is with literally the last one of the daily, we got another Galarian Zapdos right here and this one is a 2729. So this one is gonna be a bit of a pain to catch. I am not gonna hold my breath to think that it's actually gonna happen, but hopefully we can hit it. Another downside though is unfortunately there's really nowhere to put you guys down safely so I'm just gonna use my thumb and hopefully we can land a decent hit on this thing. Boom. Oh so close. I bet you anything this is gonna run away immediately. Yep there goes the pop out and ran away immediately. How did I know? But now that that's done at least we got to see one so that's kind of cool but you know on the end of the day it would have been nicer if we caught that thing. But I did recently catch a Galarian Zapto so all things considered that's one of the ones that I kind of need the least. But still cool that we got to see it. Now ladies and gentlemen after that Galarian Zapdos it is now time to claim the final rewards for page three so we're gonna get 5,000 stardust, which is great. We're gonna get 10 raspberries and an encounter with something. It's gonna be a Inkay. I do believe this does have a boosted shiny rate or perhaps I was getting really lucky But when I was in Korea and parts of Asia when this thing was showing up I mean I saw quite a few shiny ones and not a lot of them just in total So either I just got very lucky with Inkay or they may be a boosted shiny But I know that this one's not good because I think you wanted it to be in the 90s So yeah, not the greatest but now it's time to claim the final rewards here And this should give us the encounter with the exclusive exclusive Lapras that you only get one chance with. And I believe the phrasing for this event was that it was only gonna happen once this season even. So it's probably gonna come back at some point, but I think this is the only chance this season. And it's about a one in 50 to one in 64 odd chance of this Lapras being a shiny one. So three, two, one. Here it is. Ah, oh, dang it. I was really hoping. And it's not a good one either. You want it to be like 1131, I believe, is the hundo. And this is a 1087. So not only is it not shiny, it's also pretty garbage, which is pretty sad, to be honest with you. I was kind of hoping slash really hoping to get that shiny because you guys know how much I love hunting these shinies. So whatever. And the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm sure we'll get more opportunities in the future. But for right now, this was it. So, oh well. But just for fun, let's take a look at its IVs. It is. Wow, well, yeah, a 10, 13, 11. Pretty bad, but I will hold on to it for right now because it's the only one we're gonna get. And as you can see, the item is interesting. I think that's one of like Blanche's like pieces of clothing. Well, let's take a look real quick. I believe it's on the back of their head because I think they have a ponytail or something like that because I don't actually see the thing, but you're still T-posing, so that's nice. Gotta love that T-pose. And for page 404, it looks like we just claim the rewards. We get ourselves a Sinnoh Stone, a Unova Stone, 15 Ultra Balls, and the final rewards are going to be a glacial module and we're gonna get ourselves 2,500 XP and just like that we are done with the Mystic Heroes event. Before we wrap up I'm gonna show you one thing. There's a really cool kind of benefit to this little mini event is that whenever we evolve a Pokemon you get two XL candies for the Pokemon that you're evolving and as you can see this Frillish has 562 XL so if we quickly evolve this thing real fast it should have 64 at the end and I need to hurry because it's starting to rain and I don't want this camera to get hurt so please hurry up. And there is our Jellicent. Pretty cool, right? But any second now, this takes forever, especially when it rains. So there we go. We did gain two XL candies for the Pokemon. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And also let me know in the comments down below, how did your Lapras turn out? Did you get the shiny? Did you get a hundo? Or did you, like me, get a trash one? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest you check this video out right over here. But with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one.